Hey guys, what's up? I am GojiFan1998, and welcome back for another new video for today. Today I am once again continue on for the next episode of GojiFan98's godzilla -thon. Today, we're going to take a look at the 29th entrance in the Godzilla franchise and 28th chapter of the Toho's Godzilla series with Godzilla Final Wars, which is this is my all-time favorite movie in the Millennium series. This is the last entrance in the Millennium series. And the last part of the Millennium Timeline, the Final Wars Timeline. So, Godzilla Final Wars had an interesting history we're going to talk about. It was the year 2004, Godzilla's 50th anniversary. So in this movie, Toho decided to go out with a bang. And decided to make one last Godzilla movie this time. And they finally decided to give the King of the Monster to rest after this impressive movie. Before we get started, I want to let you guys know, this video is requested by Astrazilla that he wants me to review the movie. So, Astrazilla, if you're watching this, I hope you enjoy it, and thank you so much for waiting for patience. So, let's get on to it. And also, please go subscribe to Astrazilla. He's a really nice guy. And check out his video he did. He did a very great job. Now, let's get ready to talk about Godzilla Final Wars. In the original script idea for Final Wars, to have a pick the Adele Godzilla Jr. for appearance in Godzilla vs. Destroya, and it features some other monster who did not make it the final cut in the movie, which includes Mechagodzilla, Gorosaurus, Mothra Larvae, and a giant octopus. But, there was a concept artist shown in the giant octopus that shows how the similar design that appears in alternate ending of Frankenstein Conquers the World and the War of Gargantula. Oh yeah. If you guys remember that giant octopus that he first introduced in King Kong vs. Godzilla where he fought Kong, where he fought King Kong on Faroe Island. Then an octopus later returned again in the alternate ending for Frankenstein vs. Baragon, as it was supposed to be whooping American ending, but it was part of a request by Henry G. Satterstein himself. But I will perhaps I'll reveal other Toho monster films in the future. So let's get back on track on Godzilla Final Wars. So anyway, when the final version didn't, well, the final, well, the original script didn't make it cut, the Adele Godzilla Jr. idea did not never come to pass. But they decided to wrote the new idea to have the set up where decided to reboot as a remake where the first Godzilla was actually in this one. As this Godzilla in Final Wars is actually the first one. Even they did mention in 1954, but I want you to read the description when I send it. For every information you need to know. So anyway, if you guys remember, back in 2003, when TriStar, the rights for Godzilla sequels would expire, Toho decided to have the rights for their own version of 1998 Godzilla to become Zilla. As in, the director who made Sky Eye for 2003 movie from Japan, no, not to confuse a Disney movie, but the other name is Sky Eye. The director asked Shoko Tomiyama, Ask if the possibility of the uh, TriStar Godzilla can make an appearance in the movie. Tomiyama checked his Toho's contact with TriStar and found it that TriStar Godzilla can. And decided to and give it a new name as Zilla. A lot of fans prefer the 19 calling Godzilla 98 as Zilla, but thanks to wikizilla.org gave us the information. Both Godzilla 98 and Zilla are both separation kaiju. So, the rest is history. The only new monster in this movie was Monster X and Kaiser Ghidorah. In this movie, they brought back a familiar Kaiju return, who hadn't been seen way back in the Showa series, Heisei, and the Linian series. Also, the last member of Toho's Big Five finally got a chance to return was Rodan. Rodan had a brand new design. He looks very impressive. The monster handler was headed by Shinichi Wakaso to handle all the monsters. Gigan had a brand new design, and he looks cyborg. And he also got a new form with a chainsaw weapon called the Modified Gigan. All the monsters designed in this film were very impressive. Kamanga, Kamakra is really great. And we finally got Angaris to finally return after he got scrapped so many times way back in the Heisei series and other projects in the Millennium series. But now he's finally got a chance to return. King Caesar returned in this movie. Fun fact, the director who made Godzilla Final Wars was he had a huge fan of King Caesar since the original Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla is his favorite movie of all time. And so, 
In this movie, we have also featured Return of Fenrir and Godzilla actors, which is, I put their name in the description below. Yeah, they all return, including our favorite actor, Akira Takarada, return to portray as Secretary General. He was a really nice interest to come back, along with reunite his co-star, Kumi Misuno. I was like, so wow, a Showa actors and actress reunited. It was really nice. And this movie, a feature American actor boxer named Don Fright. Also in 2018 of GFAX, I met that guy. And also in 2014 to 2018, Chris Cuban, also known as Goji Fan 93, met that guy. And I guess I was really honored to met Don Fright. He was a really nice guy. Hedora also made a brief appearances, but originally he's supposed to have more scene in the movie, but didn't make a chance. But some unused footage from the shot in the movie was only end up shown in the ending credits. The title sequence in the movie was very impressive. In this movie, Godzilla Final Wars had a had a first time to have three composers. I was like, wow, three composers in one movie. That's incredible. The story was very great and I really enjoyed Godzilla Final Wars. Even if it was 50th anniversary of the character, as the final Godzilla movie produced by Toho until they decided to make more in 2016. Which is, I will save it when I get there. So after Godzilla Final Wars, Godzilla later returns in 2007's Toho film, Always Sunset at Third Street 2, where Godzilla made a cameo with his newest design. Also around that time, there were many ideas that Yoshimi Subaru wanted to make it in his, another Godzilla movie plan, which includes Godzilla Go goes into 3D, also known as Godzilla vs. Defila, but unfortunately this idea never came to pass at the time when it was in the rumor until it was cancelled in 2009. Until 2010, Legendary got the rights for making their own Godzilla movie to make way for the 2014 movie, but that will be coming up next in next week. So yeah, I always enjoy the movie, and the movie Godzilla Final Wars had a had a combination with the Kung Fu fighting and the Matrix style. Yeah, if you are a big fan of Matrix as I am, you might have to see some shot that you may be recognized for something similar way back in the, the first Matrix movie. Yes, I love the Matrix with the great Keanu Reeves. And the one thing that's interesting, that controller of the Exilion, that, that young guy, and he always laughs every time. And I like to quote that he said, well, I kind of like this face. Right after Don Fry's character, t Captain Gordon asked him, why don't you show us your real face? Yeah, that was really great. And also there's one thing. Patrick Tatopoulos was very, very honored that his Godzilla that he designed was appearing in the movie. And he was very honored. And Godzilla defeats Zilla for over 20 seconds. But... If you guys remember my review of Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla that I mentioned about the Anime Godzilla vs. the American Godzilla movie idea. But the concept, the idea of having a Japanese Godzilla fight against the American version of Godzilla didn't make an appearance in this idea. To have picked Zilla to fight against Godzilla in Sydney, Australia. Which only takes a few seconds. And that was really great. And the quote in the Japanese dub that that young Exilian said, I knew that tuna eating monster was useless. Well, in English stuff, he said, I knew that tuna headed wasn't up to much. But that was the greatest quote ever. Every kaiju we all know always have a greatest design for Angiris, Rodan, and also we have Manila finally, finally come back, who had been seen way back in the Shilla series, but his personality has never changed in the final wars. The monsters are really good, and I really always love their design. And also noted that Zilla design was actually a was completely CGI scanned with a Trainmaster's Godzilla alternate figure from Trainmaster figure if you probably know it from WikiZilla's country profile on Godzilla 98 and, and Zilla part for G98 month back in uh, 2018 if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I really always love this movie. It is really great film for the Millennium series. Well, that's all I have to say for Godzilla Final Wars. Stay tuned to next episode. I'm going to review The Legendary Godzilla 2014. Stay tuned. Bye.